anyone any of the best friends? Rebecca, Tequila, or Ivita? Almost um, about 21, 22, living in a city, a plant in Georgia, working for a company called Honey Business Seeds. I'm a family guy. Like most of the Indians who have done a couple of science and management information systems, you know, Thank <laughs> you. 
Jesus Christ. Yeah. Oh, I don't have to have to have He said, shut up, you got answers to everything. You know? He said, fine, but it's stay in my house. So I feel you twice a day. But that's it, nothing else. I'm like, it's okay, I'm going to leave your mom's and dad. From the house, I'm going to leave you my mom's and dad. It's no problem. The whole man kept on going. You know, 10,000, 20,000, 150,000, 100,000, 100,000, 100,000. He calls 18 steps. When you're going for two hours a week, I'm teaching children. Government schools. In five minutes from my office here, there is a government school which is not usually available. But the opportunity is there for all of us. Two years later, I'm going to go to one university for my MBA because there is one promise my mom had taken from me to my mom to go on. And um, when I told her I want to come back, and I declined the last seat offer my job in the middle to come back and work in the last place. I don't know if you guys this woman, like I said, 150,000 dollars. But all of these were from, you know, the first large companies that they spent with them. Have you seen all the groups? You know, the biggest ones are drinking here, but she gave us just one fuss about it. You know, and for 400 children, there's maybe just two black groups. You know, even then, we do have just two hours a week on the whole time talking. Imagine what is happening to these kids day to day. Smart class, you can pay the money back and write a good job. What should we do about this? So, we made a bad thing by the help of a professor from the island to have a few answers for the kids. And we have no pension, but we have to squeeze the system to do it. So, we have to pay 40 kids to the separate bathroom. And these 34 kids are fed the separate fossil and water. We put in a smart classroom so that everything became not a business. So, just have a little bit of a clean kitchen, you can keep in a textbook. The students in the textbook, all of these people are in the home. In Gujarat, it was a Gujarat team, in Gujarat, it was a Gujarat team, in Karnataka, it was a Kanaan. And friends would be happy to be able to scale up to 3,200 schools. And we managed to reach 10,000 schools. And the journey continues and continues and continues. The research in medicine science went up by four times, the attendance improved by 15. Percentage points. So we were very clear that we want to set this person. And we met tons and tons of kids, you know, who, you know, see investors who are also not earning 80% of the time. Or who are children of white dollars, who are, you know, the children of white men, who are children of rich bodies, but they are getting 90% of the time. We said, you know, the second major program we want to do is give scholarships to the student to help them become. And tons and tons of these kids, now they're going into IIT as names and they're working in some of the best places in the world. And then they're now saying, and so, all the problems are okay. Love. And it could have been enough. For maybe three more hours because they're used to it. But we would like to give scholarship to three more children. So we are seeing quite a few happening already in such a short time. So compassion and kindness is inbuilt in the fabric of India, the fabric of every young person. I want to tell you guys an important story of one such student. Her name is Sneeksha Dubai. She is from Bihar. Her father died eight years ago. She's a second year B-com student. Her mom works in about four different houses, cleaning and cooking to make ends meet. Her older sister, a couple of years ago, they had unfortunately found out She's going to be in the car business. And the younger man wants to be a veterinary doctor. He's in the middle of right now. And this girl is facing all these issues. Her whole family students are not supporting these scholarships. Always has a sign on her face, always is full of gratitude for her mother, always is coming for her. This is a picture of how do you do it? Do you have to pay? You know, where do you get this resilience? See, fine. And she said, see, I teach three other children who are in seventh and eighth grades, and I teach them maths and science. But that is something which I'm good at, and they call me DDDD, and they're so good, and they're always waiting for me to come and teach them. And that gives me a lot of confidence. So when you can make a difference in life of someone else, it doesn't have to be with money, it could be with time and time to spend. 
and he make you a lot more confident in yourself. So Samisha is a leader of mine, and he has himself someone like Samisha can do this. Why can't all of us? You know, can we go on in a country? This is the end of opportunities because your house will find you the people who need help. Maybe the maid's child, the security guards, the doctor, maybe you can help them with their education, with their clothes, you know, spend time with them. And you know all of you guys, because I'm looking for young people, so I'm just trying to call this concern. Maybe if a friend of yours is depressed, what can I say to them? Maybe you can give them some advice to someone. Maybe someone's made a huge mistake. And what folks are not a big deal. And you get back on them. And make someone feel good about themselves. That is also a way of doing something. So friends, what I want to kind of tell you guys in general, it's very important that we are living in India at this important juncture because India is shining. You guys keep hearing stories of these unicorns and stuff that can also be. So people like the Sindhas, the Samantas, the Puranas, the other academies of the world, all these platforms that are young, and what India is shining with some incredible startup companies, can we also shine in fact? So keep your eyes in mind if you can start in a moment giving much, but they give away 50% of their wealth to charity. In India, there's only two or three people like Kiran Majumdar, Saad, Asi, Pramji, who have signed the dispatch with them. So, with some of these young friends of mine from the Unicorn Startup Army, we decided to start the Young India Philanthropy Pledge. And it is some people who are not the phone of them, who have $100 million in their pocket. We have pledged 25% of their wealth to charity. And I'm happy to say, already 12 of these top unicorns, and even young people who have inherited millions and billions, they have already signed this pledge. And they can give whatever they want to give education, health, environment, you know, animals, whatever it is they have. And they need one support, and all of them share what all they're doing. What is this project? We come together and do it every year. And Bill Gates has graciously offered through the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation to match 50% of the resources. The first project we're doing is to be about 105 schools in Karnataka. And 50% of the support was done by the ones in Kenya, and 50% of the Gates Foundation is matched. So India and the young people. You know, from being a selection to being a billionaire, friends with us like Nikhil Kamath, for example. All these people are giving their time, talent, and resources to make a difference. So this is an exciting time to be part of this incredible project. I want to leave you guys with a story of this incredible young woman from India, Monet Pal. He's working at Consider now recently, but when he was in his tenth grade, in Gujarat, Samacha, the Belfast Bowler, the Spartans, the Pune, and an ice cream uh, factory, and now they're you know, cooking in three or different houses. He's got 99.9 percent. So we went to his house, made three months of last year. And it was maybe like 14 by 14, but it was small, they could arrange around, step on the onions, tomato, cucumbers, because she was about to cook. They could See the younger brother and his sister fighting over it, and the boys making a lot of noise. The older brother was watching MTV, some music was going on really loud. And then we met Monet. This is from the like, 10th grade. He's just finished 10th grade. I said, Monet, how do you pay attention? How do you focus? You know, for me, when I'm watching cricket and my mom comes in, I'm like, Mom, come back later on. I'm busy. You know? Monet said, Sir, look carefully at what I'm trying to do. Like, you know, I just do a couple of stunts and in the room, it was, it's all on my phone. So, takes a look. I was saying, one of the five corners turns at him and says, I'm a focused. Like, I don't know what you're doing to my brother, but I'm a focused in front of him. So, the ability to see the truth in every situation is one of the three things that your body has got to do. I hope. You want the parents here? If there's just one thing you want to give your children, don't teach them bad science and use it as important. But teach them the ability 
to see the blood in the reception of the blood in the blood of 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 the blood